Hey everyone, Desiree here. So in this video, I wanted to do an up close look on the A5 Daily Wellness Planner from Erin Condren. Now this is a new item that I think just came out. And so I wanted to kind of do a longer, more detailed video because I know a lot of people are curious about this and how it's laid out and what exactly it, you know, looks like on the inside. So as you can see, it is the A5 size, which is one of my favorite sizes to work with when it comes to planning. And uh, it's the coil bound and then you obviously have the interchangeable covers. So as you can see, it says wellness log and then uh, the first couple pages, it goes into how to use this, you know, log and how to do your goal setting, which I think a lot of us probably are familiar with, or we have our own ways of doing this stuff. But it's nice that they include it in here in case, you know, somebody may be new to planning and they don't know exactly, you know, how to do it or where to start. So the first couple pages, it says starting point, and it has, uh, I guess, some reflection and some prompts in here for you to figure out what exactly it is you want to focus on and how specifically you want to use this planner. And you can see the first tab here says goals, and then it has, again, more prompts, getting clear on your values, and then a guide for how to use this planner. And again, more prompts. And then it has a place for your goals specifically, you know, place to write out your goals and then some action steps and how you can break them down into daily achievable steps or actions or whatever. So then we get to the very first section and then it has my wellness goals for the month. So this is a daily planner. So it does give you daily sheets. Uh, it's the same thing on both sides, I'm guessing, and then it just goes through the entire month. Yep. And then you have different colors, obviously, to indicate the different months. So you have today's focus, your food log, your movement and exercise, your self-care, and then things that you want to track. Here it has water, steps, hours slept, and your overall mood. Now, I don't track all of those things, but I think, you know, at least there is a space for that if you do. Okay, so it's the same thing for the entire month. And so you get one, two, three, four months in one of these planners. So obviously you would have to buy a new one of these every four months. <laughs> I was trying to think like, is it quarterly? But it's not quite quarterly because it's four months. So you would have to buy three for, you know, the entire year. But anyways, so you've got four months in one book. Am I doing that? Oh no, you do have three. I'm over here confusing myself. Okay, so you would you would have to buy this quarterly. I take that back. So you have three months of daily planning pages in here. And then you get to the very back and it has a notes section. And then you have some stickers, which, you know, not surprising. This is nothing new. Erin Condren usually always includes a sticker page um, in the back of pretty much all of her planners. Now the only thing which I find odd that this did not include is you don't get any monthly stickers on here. Now you do get some you know fun icons and stuff on this page but you don't have any tabs to put whatever month you're starting on. Now of course I'm sure a lot of us have stickers in our collection but it would have been nice if if she would have included um, some monthly stickers to put on the tabs here. So I think I will use this. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to use it as a daily. I probably would use this more like a weekly check-in because I don't really use my health and wellness planner that I have now on the day-to-day. -day. I usually use it like a week at a time. So you can definitely, you know, kind of make these two pages a week instead of just daily because you've got four boxes here and then you've got four boxes here. So that would be very easy to do, to make this, you know, a Monday through Sunday with an extra box, 
you know, for notes or whatever, which I think is really good because it gives you a lot more flexibility. And then you can use one of these planners for the entire year instead of having to, you know, buy a new one every quarter. So, and this is what the back looks like. And then you do have the whiteboard in the back cover here. So, um, yeah. So I did want to do an in-depth, like I said, video on this because I did have some people who were curious just to see the layout and to see everything that was in this particular planner. All right, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please drop them down below. All right. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.